Hi, good morning everyone. Let's get started with next topic for this training which is on organizational levels in SAP security. Organizational level is another key term in SAP security apart from the roles creation using PFCG. Okay, in the role below we see org levels like company code, the purchasing organization, purchasing group, sales organization, etc. Let's get into the system to see how we create them. So let's get into the PFCG. Okay, PFCG is basically a transaction code for creating roles. Okay, now let's create a single role. Basically, the role name is we'll give some role starting with Z because Z is the namespace for customer roles. So let's select create button. Now for the menu, just save it. Okay, now you can see that we can add the T codes here. So let's add the couple of T code like say for example VA01. Let's add VO01. Okay, now we have added VA01. Now I have saved this. Let's go to the authorization tab now. Currently it is red. So let's go into the change authorization data. Okay, this box comes, just ignore it for it right now. And here you can see information about the field values of org levels so this is what i was referring to organizational level security basically we can define the different organizational levels over here so we define things like uh, company code the controlling area division sales organization distribution channel etc here in this particular tab so this is how we can define the organization level roles based on the organization levels. So we are seeing that how we can define or customize or create organizational levels for a particular role. And if we create roles based on the organizational levels, what happens is we can create derived roles from here and let's go to a transaction code called SPRO. Let's click on the SAP reference object. This is basically the location where we create the customization. Right now we are in the display EMG tab. Okay, now we are in the enterprise structure. Let's expand this. Click on definition. Okay, now click on the term here you can see the different terms like financial accounting, the controlling, the sales and distribution, the material management, etc. So this is actually the location where we define the organizational levels. For example, here you can see define company, define functional area, maintain functional area. You can see define profit centers, okay, define controlling area, define the different levels over here define and copy and check sales organization so basically this is where we define the this particular master data for the organizational levels so this is how we define the organizational levels basically we can go to the SPRO and define these organizational levels like company code controlling area division sales organization distribution channel so basically depending on how we want to structure our role, how we want to design our role, how we want to base our role based on the organizational levels within the company, we can come up with these values. Say for example, in this case, let's see the role starting with say C. Okay, so basically I'm coming up with a template for say for example, these three things that I have selected. Okay, I'll just click on enter and then I'll just select three, these three and click on enter. Okay, so basically you can see I have defined three company codes over here. Okay, so this role basically I'm creating for these three company code. Okay, and right now the role is in red status. So to make it green, what I'm going to do is I'm going to generate this role. So basically what we have done is we have defined the organizational levels. We have saved the organizational levels for this particular role. Click on the generate tab now. Okay, it's asking there are open levels exist. 
so let's save them so let's generate these roles so we will just see which are the roles which is open and click on generate here you can see that the profile names will be created i'll just click on save and i'll just click on the back arrow okay then again you can see this authorization tab has become green now let's go to the user tab okay in user tab what you are seeing is you are seeing the information about the users who has access to this role so let's select one user and let's click on the user comparison and just say save, save this role now and click on complete comparison this will basically do the user master comparison and just save this and you will see the user tab has become green okay so basically we have created a role and we have assigned the organizational levels in that particular role so organizational levels what we have seen is that we have created things like org groups purchasing groups sales org plants etc so we can structure our roles based on the structure of the company and that is what is called as the organizational levels we can create derived roles based on these levels as well but in this particular case we are just focusing on the org structure the org levels within the company and we are going to base these roles based on the org levels okay the org levels defined earlier appear side by side with the authorization field in fact all org levels are also authorization fields as organization levels in most cases are interestingly linked to the enterprise structure of an organizational and largely determined during the customizing steps for the SAP company. So it's not really the security administrator who defines the org levels. He can only use the existing org levels defined during functional configuration. Okay, it's possible to change an authorization field. Okay, so that's all actually I wanted to cover in this particular training session. Thank you for joining and have a nice day. Bye-bye.